and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a super excited one, very highly requested and I'm very excited to be bringing it to you today. It is going to be a tutorial for those of you who wear glasses. Today's video is sponsored by Glasses USA. I want to say a huge thank you to them for sponsoring today's video and for creating affordable glasses because glasses get very pricey and especially in Ireland it's not what Glasses USA is all about. They bring affordable prices to you. There is thousands of different styles of glasses. You can actually upload your own picture to the website and try on all the different glasses virtually to see which ones suit you the best. For me, generally, I like to have a couple of different pairs of glasses depending on my mood. I'm gonna show you a couple of different styles. Now, when you purchase some glasses in USA, they give you a little card like this and this has your prescription on it just in case you forget it. I forget mine all the time. I do recommend getting your eyes tested every two years just in case your eyesight has changed. One of my biggest issues when I wear my glasses is my makeup rubbing off around here and especially underneath here and then also I find that my eyes look really kind of dull. This makeup tutorial is going to be suitable for the majority of people and the only thing I would recommend is if you are nearsighted your glasses will tend to make your eyes look a bit smaller so I always recommend going in with a cream liner into the waterline. If you are farsighted I recommend putting something black in the waterline. So guys I really hope that my tips come in handy. I will also show you all the styles I got as well as a pair of sunglasses. I am so excited about the sunglasses because that is one of my biggest issues when I'm driving. So it's important that you have prescription sunglasses. These are designer ones and I'm obsessed. So guys, if you are interested in getting yourself some frames or trying out some of the frames, upload a picture and you know, check it all out. If you're not happy with your purchase, you can return it. Glasses USA are amazing. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Let's head on in and see how I did the eyes and I'm gonna give you loads of different lip options as well. If you wanna see how I did this tutorial, then let's head on into it. Just like with every other makeup tutorial, I'm gonna prime my face, but I'm particularly focusing this primer around my nose and just underneath my eyes, because that's where my glasses are gonna be sitting on. So I need to make sure that this is well primed. Thin layers is the key, guys. So when you are applying your foundation, make sure you don't go ham with it around these areas, especially underneath the eyes and around the nose. You want to pat on a light amount of foundation. The more layers you have, the more your glasses are gonna move that foundation. And it's just best to kind of keep this Thin. I always find it best as well to use a foundation that is non-transfer so the LA Girl Pro Coverage Foundation for me I find is amazing because it does not bud. When I apply my eye makeup I always like to go with something that accentuates my eye colour. These are my favourite palettes at the moment. I think they bring out my eyes really well. I'm going to take an oldie but a goodie. This is the Naked 2 palette and I'm using Foxy. That's the first shade there just to set the eye primer. I applied some tape because I find when you do wear glasses it's nice to elongate your eyes to make them look a little bit more accentuated whether you're near or far sighted. I I think the tape also helps the placement of the eyeshadow. I'm just placing teeth through my crease here with a fluffy brush and then I'm going to go in with the colour Busted which is like a dark purple shade and applying that on the outer corner of my eye and just blending it into the crease. This eye look that I'm doing and a halo eye are amazing for people who wear glasses. Next I'm going to take Vice. This is a gorgeous shade and I just applied some Max Fix Plus to my brush before applying this straight into the centre of my eye. It's going to bring emphasis right into the centre of your eye and focusing mostly on the iris then I'm just gonna place this light shade into the inner corner of my eye and then I'm gonna take black out and just apply that along the tape and feathering it in as well just to create a bit of smokiness to the outer V and then I'm gonna apply foxy to underneath the brow bone just to highlight that before going in with winged liner you can totally skip winged liner if you're not comfortable applying it also I find more rounded glasses winged liner doesn't always look the best but as you can see my glasses that I have are kind of square and they are elongated and this particularly helps the people who are nearsighted as you can see it kind of makes my eyes look a bit smaller wearing glasses this just brings them out a little bit applying your brows is very very important especially if your glasses just sit right underneath your brows you just want to fill them in as best as you can now for concealer this is important to make sure that you have a brightening concealer something that isn't too thick but still gives you a bit of coverage underneath the eye and I find that the Urban Decay Naked Concealer and this is why I use it so much is just bomb for this job I also find that setting your under eyes is so important as well because if they crease and you're wearing glasses it's going to 
emphasize it and bring it out best to use a lightweight powder to set underneath the eyes same goes for setting the rest of the face make sure you use a lightweight powder especially around the areas like your nose and underneath the eyes I just find that this stops all the transfer and makeup rubbing off Don't forget about underneath the eyes we still want to emphasize that so I'm using teas and then mixing in black out to emphasize underneath your eyes, if you are nearsighted, go in with a cream liner. If you're farsighted and you need it for seeing close up, then use a black liner because this will help to make your eyes look bigger or small and dependent on your vision. For the lashes, I will only apply mascara normally if I'm going to be wearing my glasses. I will apply falsies if I'm going on a night out or if I'm filming because otherwise they will be touching off my glasses. Then you just want to contour your face. You don't have to worry too much about the rest of the face, to be honest. It's mostly got to do with the eye area, obviously. I'm taking the Makeup Revolution Contour Palette to contour with and then I'm going to go in with Milani's Luminosa to apply some blush and for highlight I'm taking Max Extra Dimension Skin Finish in Double Gleam. I think that's what it's called. It will be linked down below. This is my new favorite highlight. I uh adore this now for a bit of fun i'm going to match up different lipsticks to my glasses so for this first pair are called the brutus and they're very oversized not everyone's cup of tea but i think they're amazing so i paired them with more of a nude lip i went in with milani's mauvy star lip liner and makeup revolutions lipstick in chauffeur and i just think this combo with the gold frames i just think they really complement each other and it looks quite flattering now for the next pair, these are the Palm. So I took the liquid lipstick from NYX in the color Club Hopper and I lined my lips with half red lip liner from MAC. I just thought that the deep dark color for my lips went really, really well with the kind of tortoise shell of these Palm frames. I absolutely love the fact they've kind of gold on the side. It just makes them look really, really elegant. These glasses both show off your eyes as they're nice square frames, but they also reveal your brows and you can also see your under eyes. So I absolutely love these frames. Next, I'm going to show you the Izzy's. Now, these are gorgeous glasses as well because they are black frames. I thought that a red lip would go amazing with them because black and red looks really, really classy together. So I took Lady Danger and a Jordana lip liner, which I will write down below. I just think these frames are amazing. They're black, but the arms of the glasses are tortoise shell, which I think is a great combo. The next frames are the Barbara. Now these ones I've been wearing a lot on Snapchat and everybody has been asking me what they were. And I thought that these looked really nice with a burgundy lip. They go with any lip because they're brown frames. So they're really, really easy to pair. They're kind of like a square frame with kind of rounded edges on them. I just think these are really, really flattering on my face shape. These are the Ray-Bans 3025s. And oh my God, I've never been so happy to have a pair of Ray-Bans that I can actually wear in the car. Glasses USA applied their own lenses in this with my prescription in them but they also give you the original lenses and the case for them just in case you ever wanted to change them back so guys that is my full review and my makeup tutorial i hope you enjoyed this video if you want to pick up any of these frames they will be linked in the description bar below thank you so much for watching and i'll talk to you very soon